Hi guys and gals out in YouTube land. It's Miss Beverly back at you this evening for another wig review. Um, the unit I have here for you this evening is from Free Dress Equal. This is Jocelyn. I bought her in a color number two. Um, this wig was purchased from Mimi Beauty Line and this one I actually did purchase you guys. Um, I um, hadn't tried any of the Free Dress Equal units before. Uh, so I thought I'd give this one a shot. I wanted to do one that was um, not one that had really been done before. Um, because, you know, if they've all been done before, why do we need to watch 750 reviews of the exact same one? So, you guys know me. I like to try to get something that's a little bit different. And um, the last time I looked, there really wasn't anything up with this one. So... I guess there could be now, but whatever. So, I'm going to take her out of the pack and just kind of brush her. You guys know I brush my wigs. I don't care what anyone says. I brush my wigs. Unless they're super, super curly, then I might pick them. But, um, otherwise, I want to brush them out. I want to get that synthetic-y looking crap out of them as quickly as possible so that they don't look like they're totally fake. And brushing them a little bit, I think, really, really does help to remove that look quite a bit. Um, here is the unit. Just so what you can see, she's a pretty long, really long unit. With a very, very loose layered curl. Um, hair is really pretty soft. I can run my fingers through it, which is nice. Um, this is... Um, this is what she looks like on. There we go. A little glare on this picture. Sorry about that. My camera's were freaking out because it doesn't like to have me go shit. Woohoo, woohoo, you know. <laughs> um, but here's what she looks like in just a plain color number two. Now this says no tape and no glue necessary. Create. You can create a style in just one minute. We'll see. So let me throw this guy up here and let's take a look at the inside of her. She has, <coughs> excuse me, she has two combs, one at each temple, and these are further over. These are pretty far over on the temples. Here is the lace right across here, if you guys can see that. It's a fair amount of lace. I would say uh, at least an inch and a half, maybe an inch and three quarters. So not too bad. Uh, here's the inside of the unit. There is a small comb in the back and the adjustable straps. Uh, let's see, it does have the aerated sides, which I really like. There we go. Um, and it does feel like it has the tabs and the ears which is kind of nice as well um, because it really helps these lace fronts to lay flat to the face without um, having to... Um, that's interesting. Look at that. Isn't that nice? <sighs> Sigh. So, yeah, evidently I don't know where that clip is, but it's not in the wig anywhere. Hmm. Well, I must say I'm not pleased about that. I didn't even notice that it wasn't there and I'd already cut the lace. Mm. So I guess we're going to be figuring out how we can make this work um, with only one tab connected. So let's throw her on. That really, really makes me mad when, uh, when I get units that are messed up. <laughs> that really pisses me off. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Now, I 
It does have the ear tabs. I actually think that Beverly Johnson I tried just a minute ago fit better though. But that could very well be because the, you know, thing is busted. So, Here's the hairline. Now let's let's do a little part here in her uh, so we can just kind of see the lace. I don't really have the right colored uh, wig cap on here. It's just about the same as the last one I just had on. There's that. Okay. I don't ever part mine in the middle anyway. I'm not a huge middle part fan, especially with these kind of wigs, you know. Ends are a little, little ratty. Okay. I would probably put a little net spray on her also to just to kind of um, hold her still um, here, you know. I don't know, does she want to go the other way? I don't know. Or maybe take and pull her back, you know, and put a little clip in her or a um, bobby pin. You know, just a regular bobby pin, which I don't have any sitting around. But I do have a clip. There we go. And just kind of pin her back this way. Let's show you guys the back, because she is very long. Let me turn around here. Move out this way, too, because we're not going to get her. See how long she is back here? See that far back. She's fairly, fairly heavy. Um, so I'm not sure how our movement's going to be because she is a little bit heavy, you guys. Um, she does flow though, but she has a heavier flow to her. Um, so you can kind of get an idea. The curls are pretty loose. Um, just a very, it's not even, I'm not even sure I'd call it a curl, really. It's very, very loose, if it is. Um, let's see if this one's heat friendly at all. It does have care instructions on the back. And while we're pulling this up, I'm going to pull it up because I did purchase her off of MimiBeautyLine.com also. And um, she was very reasonably priced. Um, right now, they've got a really, really good sale going on on their site. And so that's hence why I got this. And um, I mean, it's a really good sale. So let's see. Here she is. I paid $26.99. $26.99 for this girl. And despite the fact that, you know, um, one of the cli clips isn't um, fitting very well, or it broke, one of the clip sides is, is not on there right, um, it actually does um, fit really well because it has the comb, that small comb in the back, so that really helps. Um, the inside talks about how to, let me see if I can get that in there. It's kind of got a really bad glare on it, but how to apply, how to apply the wig, um, how to use the glue or the double-sided tape. Um, it is not heat friendly. It is also not heat friendly, um, which is okay with me. I don't care. 
does it says it has the sculpting tabs up here too I don't feel sculpting tabs up here hmm. but I do like let me show you here this is actually not terribly dark lace for my skin tone either which is really nice because that means that the lace will um, will blend with a lot of different skin tones and that is really cool um, you can see kind of the um, the loose kind of curl here in the front um, overall even with the um, tab that's screwed up in the back the strap that's messed up um, I actually, I actually like this unit. I actually think it's pretty cool. Um, it is a little bit long. I may take my razor and do a little bit of razor work to kind of thin it down and shorten it up a little bit. Um, but uh, I really like it. I really like it. I think it's hot. It's definitely worth $26.99. Let me just tell you that. It is definitely worth $26.99. Um, and um, I'll probably call uh, Dan and let him know that I got a wig with a strap broken on it. <laughs> um, and uh, I'll probably try to watch a little bit more closely. I think that's happened to me a couple of times with uh, wigs. Not just, not from this site, but, uh, you know, just overall um, from different wig sites that I've purchased from. It's just kind of how it is. It's just a bummer if you realize it after you've already cut the lace. So yeah, so here is Jocelyn in a color number two from Free Tress Equal. Lace front, no tape, no glue required, and that's true. No tape or no glue is required. So um, I hope you like this one, and stay tuned. I've got more wigs to do. So until next time, rock on. Bye-bye.